Drop every bolt. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode of JL Fishing. Man, it feels good to say that again. You might be wondering what happened to us the past couple months. Well, me and TJ both work for the Postal Service, so December was a wild ass month for us. We was going wide ass open. And then January rolled around. And it was just freezing temps and neither one of us had the urge to go and freeze our balls off, you know what I'm saying? But today, we got a warm Sunday out here. We're gonna change the oil and the motor. And let me tell you, if I can do it, anybody can do it and it saves you money. I buy this, like every year I buy this kit off of uh, either Sim Yamaha or Parts View. I forget, I think I ordered from both of them. I'll link them in the description. But you just, you save a buttload of money by doing it yourself. And trust me, it's so simple. If I can do it, you can do it. I'll tell you that. Like, it's that simple. All right, we got our kit spread out right here. Our drugs oil, oil filter, our tools. Specifically a 14 millimeter socket for the drain plug. Phillips head screwdriver. We have two Phillips head screws we gotta take off the motor, then set of Allen wrenches for six bolts we gotta take out of the midsection. I don't know how tight the oil filter is gonna be on there, so I got this just in case. We gotta let the motor warm up for about five minutes. Let the oil loosen up. Right now, it's been cold, so it's thicker than if you ate a bunch of cheese, you know what I'm saying? It's constipated right now. Eat your heart out, Frank! Fuck! No! So we gotta let the sun gun warm up a little bit, and then we'll be back at you. <laughs> got her all warmed up now now we got to pop her top off you know what i'm saying you take that latch right there another another latch on this side as well and then you have one at the very front you hop up here break the suction they got a gasket around the bottom to keep it suctioned on there ain't she just pure beautiful so what we got here you got two different ways of changing the oil i've seen some people take the dipstick out and run like a a pump down in there and suction it out the top. But what I do to make sure I get all of it out is I take this midsection off. Now you have two uh, Phillips heads right here, and then you have six running down through here, Allen screws. So we gotta take them off. We'll start with the two Phillips right here. Got one right in here. Got another one right oh, there. Man. How well that's coming across on camera. Got them two out. We'll take this bottom one out first. It's the longest one. All the other ones are the same size. There's that one. Got one right here. That one. It's important to drop all of them. You drop every bolt. And there's one right there. I said there was six, but it might be only five or four. On, on this bottom part right here, there's some kind of something there you have to like push forward and then, then slide it off just like that. Oh, yeah. It's got oh, yeah. All right, we tilted the motor up for a few seconds at 45 degrees, let it drain, made sure it was drained out of the block and everything. So now we tilt it back down. <laughs> Here's the kind of the dirty part here. Should be loose. <laughs> I 
I tell you, Yamaha, they just think about their consumers, because check this out. This little flap right here. Yeah, some oil got in there, but like most of it's in here. Like that's so awesome. You don't have to sit here and hold like a paper plate or a foam plate or something, or just something to keep the oil going in the drain in the bucket. They just installed that thing right there. How cool is that, man? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick that right there. It's just like that. It's been sitting here draining like that for a couple minutes, so I think we should, we're good to go. So we're gonna slide that back right there. We're gonna seal it up. Put the bolt back in there. Now this says aluminum. So you wanna, you don't wanna tighten it too much. Just tighten it till it's snug, and maybe just a hair more, because you will strip it out. And just clean it up just a little bit. I am a couple hours past the mark of uh, changing the oil, so it is a little bit dirtier than normal, but it's not milky colored or nothing, so that's the main thing. Next is the oil filter. This is the replacement. Figure out how to work this thing. I tell you, another cool thing, they had a little cup right there. Check that out. You don't have no oil going in your mower. Yeah, Nissan, maybe take notice. All right, most important step. You gotta stick your finger in there. You gotta be a little bit like that and run it around the rim, you know? Get it all good and moist. Just like that. God. So screw it on there. When it starts getting snug, you wanna turn it about half three quarter turn further and you good you good you don't want to tighten it back down with this thing it'll it'll tighten up itself apparently because every time i take it off it's always on there a little bit harder than i put it on there before but what's the next step tj do you remember probably dump in some oil i'd say really should we put more in there yamaha calls for 7.1 quarts we're gonna put about probably 6.7 6.8 in there see how that goes after we run it the next fishing trip, when we get back, we'll, uh, I'll check it. But the old cap's right here. Oh, my hands are all slippery. There we go. It's like that right there. Set that on my napkin. Got your funnel. Oh, Lord. I have to get another funnel. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna go through a whole one of these because these are four quarts. All right, so we're gonna pour this in there until we get somewhere in between one and two quarts, probably the lower half, closer to one quart. Then we'll check the dipstick. All right, so we got her filled up with oil and stuff. We want it between these two dots. Let's see how good we did. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Right there on the upper portion. Golly bum. Y'all see that right there? From right there, it's right, the mark's right there at my finger now. That is perfect. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. TJ did a great job. All right. We're gonna put the midsection back on now. Now for this, we're gonna put it back on the total opposite of what we did. We're gonna push it forward and then pull back. My hands are slippery. Perfect. I'm going to stick these two Phillips heads back in. Now 
Remember, the longer bolt goes right here. Oh. This might work better. This is four bolts on the midsection, two up here. Six total in all. Now we gotta put her, put her top back on. No, like it feels up to me. We keep the top off year round, you know what I'm saying? That's a wrap on changing the oil in a Yamaha four stroke SHO. I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it. Save your money. Cause dealers they want they want to charge pretty good hefty price for doing that. When in reality you can do it yourself for like 125, 150 bucks. I will link the kits in the bio of the description. And that's all you need. Hope y'all have had a good, uh, hope, like, good Christmas. Hope y'all been catching them. I'm ready to get back out there. It's February now. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have a few more warmer days in our future. We can get on the water and try to, try to catch some fish. You know what I'm saying? Rig bite. That's what I'm looking forward to. It'll be here before we know it. So if you learned something today, drop a comment. Let me know what you learned. Share the video with your friends. Like, subscribe. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs>